Today's video is about dominance principle. How to dominate? Here, row dominates column and sometimes column dominates the row. But how? This is very much important. Let me give you an example of a dominance structure. Like, this one is very important for game theory <coughs> solution. So here we have how many rows? Two rows and three columns. So how they are dominating? Remember, with respect to rows, they behave rationally. It's a good rule. That is, if 10 dominates 2, means the larger dominates the smaller. But in case of columns, they behave irrationally, not rationally. So here 2 dominates 10. That is a simple structure. You need to use in books, you will find many formulas. But this is the most crucial way in row bigger dominates are smaller so whoever dominates they exist and the other part is gone which I am going to show in the fourth coming 10 more seconds and in the column the smaller exists and the bigger goes off ok so here they follow the capitalist structure and there they follow the socialism ok so let me tell you how <clears throat> so in this and remember that in the dominance principle each and every value must be greater than the corresponding value like 8 is greater than 6, 12 is greater than 2. Okay, so there is a dominance. If it is equal, any value is equal, then also it is applicable. If other values are, any is like 5, 5, 6, 6, 7, 6. So here these two say, but this is greater than this. So they follow the same pattern. So this is also dominance rule is applicable. But one is greater, another one is less. Here no dominance will be applicable. Okay. So now, here I see that these columns, all values is greater than these columns, 8662. So who will exist? This will exist and this will be gone. As I said, they behave that the smaller will exist in case of columns. Now again we have two columns that is 10 greater than 6, 5 greater than 2. Again the bigger is gone than the smaller prevails, 6, 2. Now we have row 1 and row 2. In row, they behave rationally, very much rationally. So, the higher value exists and the smaller value falls. So, R1 greater than R2, so 6 greater than 2, this one. So, we get a perfect solution that 6 is the answer to this dominance. But what happens if the dominance is relatively bigger? So, now comes our second example of a bigger dominance. That bigger dominance is 2, 4, 3, 8, 5, 2, 4, 3, 8, 5, 4, 5, 2, 6, 7, 4, 5, 2, 6, 7, and then 7, 6, 8, 7, 6, or let me give a smaller one, relatively smaller one, 2, 4, 4, 5, 7, 9, 1, 0, 0, and this one, that's it. This will be a little bit easier for you to do it, then I will go to the larger ones. So here, you see, this is greater than this, 4 is greater than 0 and 7. So, as it's a column, so the smaller prevails and the larger is deleted. So again, 4, 1, 5, 0, 9, 0, 4, 1, 5, 0, and 9, 0. So here also, these all values are greater, so this also gone. So we are ending up with 1, 0, 0. But it's a row, row behaves rationally. So this is the maximum row. So row 1 dominates row 2, row 1 dominates row 3, so row 1 exists and the answer is simply 1. So this is the basic structure of a dominance principle and in many of the, in the forthcoming videos I will tell you about the bigger dominance principles as well. Till now, thank you.